this is a video blog for January the 9th, 2012. I haven't done one since July of 2010 for personal reasons, but I am back. Uh, this blog is pretty much about the so-called black channels. Um, it doesn't matter if they are black owned or white owned or it's pretty much about the unbalance of programming due to good chance many different reasons but mainly because of uh, maybe advertisement revenue or the lack of real support as you know that um, a new African American network premiered in September of last year um, Bounce TV a big supporter of them but I'm not going to really talk about Bounce TV um, because they foundation and Right now, programming is, is unbalanced, but they're a new channel, and they're more mainly concentrating on movies and Soul Train. So that's their foundation. You can pretty much see um, they also got basketball, football, and their historic black colleges. Um, so they pretty much have a well-balanced, unbalanced programming because they're brand new, and they only have about four distributors where they're getting their programming from. I want to take a look at the Viacom owned channel that considers themselves to be an african-american channel appealing to african-american adults like me in my um, 40s um, i'm 41 so this is the kind of programming they feel that we as african-americans want to see on a daily basis um they got um a movie aaron starting at 12 a.m eastern time um car wash hotel wanda you know, they pretty much showing movies today okay they got homicide which is a drama pretty much very unbalanced and the reason why I say unbalanced I'm going to show you my vision of what I feel a black channel should consist of if I had the unlimited resources money to do it um, with this case this is what they can get with the revenue that they have they got central kit which is a um, music format videos music videos which I feel some of it appeals to adults, but they play rap. Okay, 227. Jamie Foxx. Pretty much. Um, you know, this is the primetime lineup. Cosby Show, Girlfriends, Wayne Brothers, 18. Um, pretty much, that's their format. Now, the other channel that caters to African Americans, the adults, as they say, is owned by Comcast and Radio 1. And I'm just want to take a look at their schedule and show you what I mean by unbalanced when it comes to programming. TV One, I support them more better than I do um, Centric and BET because their programming is a little bit better, but it's still unbalanced. Finding Our Missing, which is like a news magazine show about missing kids and missing people of color, which is very rarely shown in the media. Jefferson's is how they start off their morning. Now, in my time zone, as you see, I got it for Central. Hey, man, sitcom, half and half, which is popular show on UPN. Different World, which replaced New York Undercover. I guess they lost the rights to it. So they, I think they're bringing Soul Food back to replace that. Lincoln Heights, a movie in the afternoon, which they do. Okay, E. Washington Watch, which is a political news type format show, which is good. They aired that on Sundays and they repeat it on Mondays. Eve, half and half, good time. See, the pattern is pretty much, you see, it is consistent. But it's no different from TBS or TNT or any other um, channel that's on cable. But to me, this is very unbalanced. And I'll show you what I mean by unbalanced. Love That Girl, which is an original series they do. It's a sitcom, though, uh, which has been, we've been, they've been doing with us since the days of Amos and Andy in the 50s. They feel this is all we as a people want to see. Unsung, which is also an original series of theirs, which pretty much showcase artists that is no longer in their prime. Like recording artists like Bobby Womack and artists like that. But let's say that I had my own, let's say I was premiering this brand new African-American channel catering to African-Americans. And I had complete 
unlimited access to all the libraries from all the major studios and independent companies that's distributing images and shows of us. And let's say I had my choice of sitcoms to air with I had the financial means to do it. I had the avenue a, advertisement to do it, which is some these two networks I just showed you really might not have the advertisement revenue to buy a lot of these shows and a lot of these shows that I'm showing right now is good chance half of it is not available or it's not being distributed to rerun a syndication. But this is the list of sitcoms that has been made with us in it. And as you can see, there's a list of it that stay together, which is on now on, on BET. Wayne Head, there's a list of uh, over 100 some shows, 140. Then let's say I have access to all the black television dramas or black led dramas from 4 13 Hope Street. I have a, pretty much access to all of it. And you see, there's about over 100 of them. Lincoln Heights, King, which was a miniseries. List of everything. This would be a balanced program for uh, a black channel, in my opinion. Now, it would start off with a morning movie that would be either G or PG rated. As you can see, I have a list of movies for Monday through Sunday that would be aired. Now, I would premiere with um, Sounder as the first movie if I was premiering this brand new network that I call Ebony TV. Um, and you see I got four little girls, but it would be all kind of movies, but it would be G-rated, family-oriented movies. As you see, um, at 8 o'clock I had The Root, but this is just because The Root is a popular African-American news site, and I'm using this as an example that I will have news in this segment. Now, Ebony Jet Showcase would be like a entertainment news magazine show, Monday through Friday and on Sundays, and that would air at this time. It would be a 22-minute show, and I'm using Ebony Jet as uh, an example because they are a more well-established magazine. Um, then on Saturdays, it would be a cartoon in that time slot, The Proud Family, using them as an example. And then Sundays, it would be a repeat, uh, like a weekend edition of it, a recap of everything that happened Monday through Friday in entertainment news and everything bringing Jet and Ebony Magazine to life. Then I have, you see here, the Essence Lifestyle, which would be like bringing Essence Magazine to life, embracing women of color, uh, mainly African-American women, but all women of color, about health, fashion. Everything the Essence Magazine does would be brought in this 22-minute show. Saturday cartoons, Static Shock. Um, Sunday would be a weekend edition of Essence Lifestyle. Now, I'm using Judge Mathis as an example of what I would air at this time. Um, it would be pretty much at Monday through Friday, and it would be Judge Mathis because I feel he's a positive influence when it comes to um, his life story and where he had to do to become a judge. So this is pretty much what I would put there. You could put Judge Karen or Hatchet or anything in that time slot. <clears throat> Sad cartoons would be the Fat Hour Show, Jackson 5, on Saturday. Sundays would be a drama. And I just added City of Angels because it was a two-season show and very popular, and I would air that only on Sundays in that time slot. Now, this would be the midday drama. Midday drama would pretty much consist of dramas. And you see I added the first, let's say, the first season of Hollywood.